right, guys, I'm just gonna apologize beforehand. I didn't get any footage recorded while I was working on my car. Um, I There was only two people with me. It was my cousin who owns the warehouse and me. And we we're both working on the car trying to get it set up. I could have probably set up a tripod, but usually I like to do either POV where like I'm holding the camera or like vlog style stuff. So like my hands were covered in oil and everything. And I was pretty much just cleaning up the car. So all I did is I took off the turbo, figured out that it was the drain line on the bottom side of the turbo, which is where the drain line goes. So it makes sense. Um, the gasket on it, pretty much fucking just disappeared when in a different dimension so it's gone um, uh, so we got to get some new gaskets and I was um, I had Garrett internals to put in this but apparently they don't fit um, so we tried pre precision those also don't fit so I'm just getting them custom made um, I dropped my turbos off at comp turbos and hopefully they can get me an internal core that I can just slap into the housing and then we'll be good to go so I dropped off just one of the turbos so I'm gonna have to drop off the other one and then if if they're able to do it that let's say that they're able to do it so I drop off both of them get the new cores put in then all I got to do is slap the turbos back on clean up all the oil so make sure nothing like excessive oil in your engine bay is obviously not good because you have stuff that gets hot and then if something combust you can lose a car right there so yeah but luckily we figured out what it was because I was surprised that um, the amount of oil that was everywhere was it just I I didn't think I was leaking that much but apparently the bottom splitter was catching all the oil so that thing was covered in oil so I took that thing off sprayed it down got that all clean so basically all I got to do is wait for them to tell me if everything's good to go I'll pay them and then they'll get that stuff in and we'll go pick up the turbos and I'll, I'll promise I'll record the rest of the stuff that I'm putting in but I just wanted to let you guys know a little update since I didn't get any of the footage recorded there but uh yeah so I'll see you guys when the turbos get in all right guys I'm I really apologize for talking so much in this video but there I'm still waiting on parts and I'm I just I, I keep getting parts so l make a little short little clip um gotten the wheels in so these are Mickey Thompson ET street street slicks street art I don't know what they're called um, I ordered them I basically talked to if you guys don't know where I get all my parts from Paramount Speed they're a good company um, they're located up north in Chico California I think unless they moved both of their and they didn't keep uh, they actually moved to Texas I don't know if they kept both shops so they're either in Texas or Chico California so I don't know go to the website and ask him um, the package I got was from Chico California so that's why I was confused anyways so we got the wheels in uh, tires and so the wheels are on back order so I believe I ordered them a week ago so maybe another week they'll be in so I got 17 by 10 VMS rims um, if you guys don't know anything about that VMS is probably the highest quality for the price I'm, I know welds are the best so for the price range that's probably the best wheels you can get around that area I forgot exactly what I paid but we can always do I was thinking about for one video I could do a breakdown of total what I've spent on this car because I know a lot of people DM me on Instagram I probably get like one, uh, two, one or two a week like oh how much is all this stuff uh, I want to do exactly what your build is how much was it so maybe I'll just do a video so then I can just link it to them instead of like having to answer every time and then I'm be like oh cool here's an entire breakdown of it but anyways so Paramount Speed sent me out this shirt pretty cool this is their new logo um, they sent me out a beer holder for legal reasons I'm gonna say I'm not gonna use this but we all know I am um, gave me a new sticker so that's pretty cool my old one was just paramount speed so they updated unless they've had this for a while i've never had this sticker so that's pretty cool one of my lanyards broke so they sent me out a lanyard i didn't tell them that but that's pretty cool so all they added all this stuff in and i didn't even know i just asked for a sticker and a shirt and then they got me two beer openers that i can open up my root beer with so that's pretty cool um anyways so we're still waiting on the turbos uh this the first clip before this was recorded two days ago so i'm still waiting i haven't heard anything from him he said it was going to be quick so hopefully either today or tomorrow they'll be done i'll go pick them up and we'll get everything put in and we'll go take her for a rip so i'll see you guys when i get the turbos peace all right so we got the new turbo redone um they did put some coating on it it looks way nicer can't tell if it spins better but um all we got to do is make some new gaskets so i got some gasket material and then here's the drain fitting so basically I've just had to trace this out, cut it out, make sure it fits all right. Mount it to the bottom side to take this one off and do it to that side as well. And then we can get everything running. All right, turbos are back on. 
but we cannot get the little flange to line up on the hot side so it's overbiting by like a, like a couple centimeters so we're having a header leak and then once we get that done put on the bumper and we're good to go all right guys so we got the car running um we still got some problems it's not something so huge but we just don't have the parts right now so on the hot side of the turbo which is the back side if you guys don't know anything about turbos um, there's a v-band clamp on the bottom that connects the whole hot side bottom bottom of the turbo to the uh, exhaust uh, headers so basically I think on the way out we accidentally bent one of the flanges on it and it won't clamp down all the way so I have an exhaust leak if uh, I don't know if the audio is gonna pick it up but we do it's like ticking so I can hear it um, when we popped the hood we started it uh, we tried a couple different things to get it tightened on but we we just it need we need a new clamp so right now it's running um, my mass my air fuel ratio is a little bit off so that's the only problem we're having right now otherwise the car is ready to go the new turbo is spinning way better so hopefully it will spool and we'll be able to make some more horsepower um, we're finally gonna get a dyno soon um, the wheels should be in sometime this week today uh, of, of this recording it is uh, today is Thursday tomorrow's Friday if it doesn't come in Friday they will definitely come in on Monday so stay tuned for when we get those on I'll definitely be uh, my foot will be down to the, the floor and we'll be seeing how fast this car will actually go without spinning but uh, anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, cars running so I'm really excited if you guys like these type of videos make sure to hit that subscribe button uh, if you guys want to see any of my new content come out to being the first ones to watch make sure you hit that bell notification and let me know what you guys think about these videos hit the comments uh, future videos that you guys have any ideas that'd be amazing but I'll see you guys in the next one peace